Greetings to one and all present here for the IET Accreditation Certification Ceremony. A day without prayer is a day without blessing and a life without prayer is a life without blessing. Let us all raise for prayer. Prabhu Ganapati Paripurana Varvarulvaye Prabhu Ganapati Paripurana Varvarulvaye Prabhu Ganapati 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 Sardhu Vanangi Thudhi Padi Yadi Unnan Sanmadi Sarana Dindome Sardhu Vanangi Thudhi Padi Yadi Unnan Sanmadi Sarana Dindome Sanmadi Sarana Dindome Santa Sitta Sobhakyangal Yavayum Tandaru Satguru Nii Prabhu Ganapati Paripurana Varvarulvagi Prabhu Ganapati 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 We are overwhelmed to call upon our erudite leader, Dr. C. Palani Sami, Principal BIT, to welcome this eminent gathering. Respected Mr. Dan Canty, Head Accreditation, IIT UK. Respected Mr. Shekhar Sanyal, Country Head, IIT India. Below Chairman of BAT, Dr. S. V. Balasparamanyam. Respected Trustee, Dr. M. P. Vijay Kumar, IAS Retired. Mr. Raghavan, Head Membership and Partnership India. Dean, Dr. K. Sivakumar, Fellow Professors and Students. It gives me great pleasure to welcome you all to the joyous occasion of BIT being accredited by the world's prestigious accreditation body, the Institution of Engineering and Technology, also called the IET UK. This accreditation will pave the way for our students and staff to collaborate with global institutions and also further their scope for higher education, employment or research. It has proved that BIT is a cut above the rest and has done everything possible to provide the best of education and infrastructure towards students. The accreditation is also evidence of the numerous interventions that we have made through skill training, establishing special labs, innovating curriculum and assessment, teaching methodologies, etc. Of course, it is also an indication of the trust that our great source of motivation, our chairman and our trustee have in us and the freedom that we have been given to pursue all possible ways towards the betterment of the institution. In fact, the process of accreditation by itself was a great learning experience for all those involved and the exposure was beneficial to us in having a refined understanding of the global expectations on engineering education. This symbolic ceremony of handing over the accreditation to BIT is an indication of the process that we underwent the hard work of the management, staff and students in upholding our values. I am delighted that all of you are here on this auspicious occasion and this will certainly be a morale booster for all of us. On this occasion, I assure you that we will take this acknowledgement as a source of encouragement and will work towards even greater achievements in the future. Once again, I welcome every one of you to this ceremony. Thank you. The IET is one of the world's leading professional societies for the engineering and technology community and IET accreditation licensed by the Engineering Council covers a broad spectrum of engineering and technology subjects. It is recognized around the world as an indicator of quality through the Washington and Sydney Accords governed by the International Engineering Alliance IEA. IET has accredited more than 60 global universities. Now, I take immense pleasure in welcoming Mr. S. Raghavan, Head, Membership and Partnership, IET India, to address the forum and do the honours. Good morning. I would like to take this opportunity to introduce the Institution of Engineering and Technology, the IET, our accreditation process and the experience we had with Banaryaman Institute of Technology. IET is a UK-based professional body for engineers. Our vision is to working to engineer a better world and our mission is to inspire, inform and influence. We want to inspire the next generation engineers to practice engineering. We want to inform the world the engineer's capability and we want to influence the policy. 
This year, we are celebrating our 150th year of presence. IET accredited more than 1,500 programs across the world in the last three decades. We believe accreditation is an important system which ensure the quality of education can be improved. Through IET accreditation, we audited Banariyaman Institute academic processes and recommended few changes. Some of them like the program content which aligns with the skill set and the learning outcome, student project, the design, the way they do, it's been changed and the way it's getting assessed and the marks have been provided, that has been changed and the overall quality assurance and the enhancement processes. Overall, all these changes are done to improve the student learning experience. We had student interaction as part of our process to get feedback and we are happy that the students are very positive and they like these changes. IET accreditation is an engagement and collaborative process. We believe our responsibility is not just doing the audit and give recommendation, but to work with institution to implement those changes. For example, Banariyaman Institute, we, we did a learning outcome workshop, a question paper setting workshop and many more activities to jointly implement the recommendation. With that note, I would like to thank Banariyaman Institute of Technology, the management and the entire team for taking initiative for the IET accreditation. It was a challenging task but the entire team completed the process with full spirit. Before we formally announce the accreditation, I would like to take a minute to read few sentences from the decision letter. On behalf of the IET, I am pleased to inform you that the accredit Academic Accreditation Committee has considered the report and the action plan from the visit of your institution, which took place on December 2020. Both the documents have been accepted and therefore your eight undergraduate engineering programs have been accredited for three years. A monitoring review will take place in the academic year 23-24 uh, before the accreditation can be extended to full five years. With that, I wholeheartedly congratulate Banariyaman Institute of Technology for the first autonomous institution in India to receive international accreditation from the IET. Thank you once again. We are extremely happy to invite an outstanding personality, Dr. S. V. Balasubramaniam, Chairman, BIT, to deliver the Presidential Address. Dear members of IET, faculty members and students of BIT, on this occasion of our BIT being awarded the IET UK accreditation, I happily appreciate the great efforts of everyone involved in achieving it. We at BIT always aim to provide education that improves the employability of all the students and contributes to the needs of our society. We have already initiated a number of bold decisions and sexual changes to the system at our campus. We give very high importance to the skills development of our students that will improve their employability and confidence. This initiative has resulted in more number of our students getting employed in dream companies and multinational companies of very high reputation. We established 60 special lab that the students use 24 by 7 for innovating new products and for preparing themselves to participate in national and international competitions. These labs have helped our students to perform externally well in the national and international level competitions and events. At this stage, the IET accreditation process came as a big shot in the arm 
that justified our initiatives. It's a matter of pride and moment of joy that BIT has been recognized and its higher education programs are accredited for matching the global benchmarks for professional engineering competence. The journey towards accreditation was both educative and enlightening for us. I understand that the team of experts, including Professor Richard Marling, Professor Mike Fernando, Professor Andrew Rowe, and Dr. Steve Woodhead, IET staff member Ms. Lona Hatfield, and Mr. S. Raghavan, head membership and partnership IET India, have been highly cooperative during the entire process of accreditation. I am thankful to every one of them for their contribution to the growth of BIT. Our entire accreditation team is overjoyed at the opportunity to work with experienced and dynamic experts and believe that we have learnt a lot. I acknowledge that this experience has helped us improve and strengthen our academic processes, research policies and design thinking. I assure you that we will consider every suggestion shared by the panel of experts very seriously and ensure that they are put into practice to make our institute par excellence. And all this, I am sure, will improve the scope for our students to pursue their higher studies, research in global institutions, and their placement opportunities in renowned organizations. I also take this opportunity to request your continued support of everyone in the growth of our institution in the forthcoming days. Thank you. IET accreditation has a positive impact on students and provides direct benefits to the graduating students every year. We request Mr. Shekhar Sanyal, Country Head, IET India, to address the impact of IET accreditation with students. Hello. I would like to express my delight and congratulate BIT Satyamangalam for getting eight of its courses accredited by the IET. It's a great start to a partnership that we hope to continue and we will obviously join hands to do better for the institution as well as the students that study in it. Now, coming to the students, what does the IT accreditation do for you aside from putting the university courses it benchmarked against the best in the world? It is also a start to a journey of chartered engineership. Chartered engineers are, is a gold standard for engineers across the world. It is recognized across the world, especially in UK, Europe, Middle East, and Australia. So by preparing for chartered engineering, it helps you to achieve the goal of global mobility. Also is a quality benchmark and a stamp on your engineering, uh, on you being an engineer. Academic accreditation of the IET is a great starting point. So if you are part of the accredited courses, then you are already on the journey of chartership. So I would like to encourage all of you to start looking at chartership from now on and look at how you can use the accreditation, not only to do well in what you're studying, but as well as to start looking at a global mobility platform called Chartered Engineering. I wish you all the best and congratulations once again to all the management and people of BIT. Thank you very much. IET accreditation is an internationally recognized benchmark awarded to high quality programs that provide an ideal preparation for aspiring professional engineers. We happily invite Mr. Dan Canty, Head Accreditation, IET UK, to talk about the impact of IET accreditation in international collaborations. Hello to you all. My name is Dan Canty and I'm the Head of IET Accreditation. I'm delighted to be able to contribute to this virtual event 
and especially delighted to celebrate the award of IT accreditation to the Benari Aman Institute of Technology. Your participation in the accreditation process strengthens all of its participants. I hope that your staff benefited from reflecting on what makes BIT special during the preparation for the visits and from the engagements with our accreditors. At its best, the accreditation journey is about discovery and reflection, to reinforce strengths and to identify opportunities for the next stages of development. The recommendations and requirements of accreditation panels is based on an internationally agreed standard and the accumulated experience of our accreditors, which is made richer by exposure to international higher education practice. The growing membership of the Washington Accord demonstrates that we have the same underlying requirements when it comes to educating an engineer, wherever you live or work. Achieving an international benchmark provides a platform to demonstrate to the world that your programmes are both relevant and of high quality. This can be used to create partnerships with other universities, including as a basis for student exchange and transfer, to help demonstrate that standards in one university are equivalent to standards in another. Achieving accreditation not only demonstrates parity with international universities, it highlights those that have the ambition to grow and develop, and the willingness to put this ambition into practice. It is the dynamism of institutions like yours that also demonstrates suitability for being good partners, which requires the ability to find common ground and to be external facing rather than only internally oriented. The IET encourages you to continue the journey with us by engaging with us as IET academic partners. The IET team in India and my team in the UK will be there to support the achievement of your institution's goals. So I'd like to end by thanking you for inviting the IT to accredit your programmes and for making us part of your story. We wish you the best of luck. Thank you. It is a privilege to invite our greatest pillar of support, Dr. Vijay Kumar, trustee BIT, to illuminate this august gathering with a few words. Respected Chairman, Respected members of IET panel, students, faculty members, and dear friends, I would like to express my gratitude for this opportunity, my humble greetings to all of you. On the eve of receiving IET certificate from IET UK, an international accreditation body, I'd like to express very briefly how IET Accreditation is important to us as well as to the students. Nationally, there has been a number of surveys which indicate that nearly 90% of our Indian engineering graduates are not employable. This is something alarming. BIT do not want to subscribe to this status. We thought about it, we realized that this lack of employable skills was primarily due to lack of opportunity for our students to practice this, practice these skills. National Board of Accreditation NBA of India have delineated about 12 attributes which an engineer should possess by the time he graduates from the college. So the skills have been very clearly spelt out. But the problem has been we have not been practicing them, we have not been giving opportunity for our students to practice these skills. All along till 12th grade, our students have been exposed only to a memory based rote learning process. Therefore, when we expose them, when we want to expose them to the skills, it becomes a big challenge. There are five, six initiatives which we have taken, which go a long way in improving the employable skills of our students. They are namely skill training special lab, national, international event, technical event participation, SIG and outcome based initiative or some of the interventions we have attempted. The skill training gives a person opportunity to practice, learn the skill he wants. Out of 550 or 560 hours in the semester, 
about 130 hours are meant exclusively for skill training. A student can opt to any skill out of the basket of skills and get himself trained thoroughly. He can also get assessed. Secondly, our uh, special labs, they help our students to acquire the skills which are essentially required for an engineer, namely design a product or a process, fabricate, assemble or execute it and then finally market it. The word engineering means designing and execution. Therefore, these are very important skill for him which will help to compete in the real world when he enters later in life. Similarly, our SIGs help them to, to work in teams, especially in a multidisciplinary team. However good a person in, uh, in possessing talent, unless he learns to work in a team, he may not be able to be successful. Our SIGs help them. Uh, similarly, as I mentioned already, our students until 12th grade have been exposed only on memory based skills, certain conceptual understanding, application, analysis, synthesis, judgment, these type of skills have never been taught to our students and they could not practice. But what we have done by, by, by modifying our academic system, especially by introducing a robust evaluation mechanism, we started testing only mostly their conceptual skills by, by introducing the outcome based uh, question paper pattern we could do it very successfully. Uh, similarly, another important skill our students should possess, see life is full of challenges. They must be able to face challenges in life. By enabling them, by encouraging them to participate in national, international technical competitions, our children are exposed to these skills by participating in competitions, by, uh, by, by succeeding or by failing. They develop the balance of mind and also learn that either failure or success is a part of life. And besides, this exposure helps them to develop grit and determination to face challenges in, in the life in future. Therefore, these five, six skills help our students to acquire all the employable skills which they would be facing after they enter the real world. Employable skills does not mean one has to get employed. One of the important traits of an employable, employable in the basket is a person, he, he will be able to work on his own without anybody's supervision. He will take initiatives to improve himself. So this is a part of our employable skills. Now what IIT has done, so we, all these initiatives we have taken, they are, they are simply path breaking, they are bold and daring and it called for a complete flexible, flexible academic system, meaning if a student wants to spend the whole day 24 by 7 in the special lab, he need not attend his regular class physically. He can see the video lectures and take up his exams. All the semester exam and periodic exams, they are all common for all students. Whether a person spends time in academic lab or skill training, but he has no special allowance. He has to take up exams along with others, which means if he can learn on his own, if he can learn the subjects on his own, either, either by self or by discussing with the peers or seeing the video, if he can manage on his own, then the whole 24, hour, 24 by 7, he can pursue his passion. The system provides for this flexibility. This is another important intervention we have done in the college. So all these interventions, they are out of the box, they are completely innovative. To my knowledge, we cannot compare this with any other institution. Therefore, even though we have been 100% sure about the outcomes, the results have been phenomenal, they are exemplary, we are seeing day to day, you name any international national competition, Banari students figure in. Similarly, every day I get information about our students. Uh, patent, public, uh, filing patent applications and uh, marketing products, developing products, even though I could see, we could see offhand these results, but it calls for a validation by an international agency. This IET accreditation 
simply helped us in getting validated all our processes. IET being an internationally recognized uh, agency, I remember there are only 70 universities all over the world which have received IET accreditation status. And I also learned that in India, we are the first autonomous institution to secure IET status because of their international standards and character, their validation of our IET processes goes a big way in, in, in ensuring the, the quality of education we provide in the college. For the students, for you, this IET accreditation is a big shot in the arm. When you pursue your higher studies abroad or take up employment in a multinational university, multinational institution, the mere fact that you are a student of BIT, which has IIT status, adds a lot of value to you. Therefore, this IIT accreditation has been tremendously helpful to us, to you personally also. And the last one and a half years of rigorous exercise helped us in identifying certain gaps which we have addressed. Besides, IET also has promised that they will continue to work with us at least for the next five years and help us in ensuring that we always maintain international standards. That way, this IET accreditation has been very helpful to us and we are, we are to conclude, we are, we are really grateful for our faculty members for their commitment, dedication, without which within a short time such accreditation is not possible. Similarly, our non-teaching staff have risen to the occasion. Students have done a wonderful job. On the whole, the whole, whole team deserved appreciation. We are uh, really grateful for this. And, uh, and finally, we will be eternally grateful to IET for this venture. Thank you. Thank you so much. Gratitude is the greatest attitude. We are glad to welcome a ray of sunshine, Dr. K. Sivakumar, Dean PDS, to propose the word of thanks. Good morning to all the delegates, faculty members and students present here. I feel proud and it's my pleasure to propose the word of thanks on this wonderful occasion. Today is a remarkable day for all of us that we have received the prestigious international accreditation from IET UK in recognition of the highest standard of eight of our undergraduate programs for meeting the global engineering competence. On this great occasion, I wish to express my sincere gratitude to our Honorable Chairman, Sri S. V. Balasubramaniam, for his support, motivation and continuous encouragement for this great achievement. Thank you, sir. I am also very grateful to our beloved trustee, Dr. M. P. Vijay Kumar, IAS Retired. He is our guiding force and has backed us on all our new initiatives and achievements. Thank you, sir. I would like to express my heartful thanks to the IET accreditation expert members, Professor Richard Marling, Professor Mike Fernando, Professor Andrew, Dr. Steve Woodhead, and our IET advisor, Professor Dan, IET staff member, Ms. Lona Handfield, Mr. Seher Sanyal, country head, IET India, Mr. Dan Chandy, head, accreditation, IET UK, and Mr. S. Raghavan, head, membership and partnership, IET India for their cooperation during the entire process of the accreditation. The last but not the least, I thank our principal, all our faculty members, supporting staff members, industry and academia collaborators, alumni members and students for their great support. Once again, and thank every one of you. Thank you.